and welcome back to Hill House Vintage. Now I'm going to show you what I've been up to this week and this week. It's been quite a varied week. Started off with a lovely trip to Holcomb again, one of our favourite places as you know. And then in between I went to Blenheim Palace and you'll be able to see the beautiful grounds of Blenheim. And then ended with a lovely country fete. So you'll see what a typical English country fair at a school will look like. And I hope you enjoy. The Holcombe Estate is not far from us at Hill House, and whenever we take a trip up to the coast, we often stop for lunch at the Victoria Inn. The old estate houses leading up to the hall are incredibly pretty and often feel as if they're stuck in time. With beautifully gabled roofs and little cottage gardens, they even have the original village pump. I write a lot about period interiors and traditional interiors in my work. And so wherever I go, especially when there's a lovely restaurant or a hotel or a lovely inn like the Victoria Inn at Holcomb, I take note of my surroundings and all the interior details. Speaking of period buildings and beautiful interiors, it was an absolute delight to be invited to Blenheim Palace to celebrate the launch of the new Penhaligon Scent Sports Car Club. Now, vintage cars have played a large part in my life over the years, as my husband is a historic car enthusiast. So this was a perfect match made in heaven. As you know, I do love a good tablescape, and Penhaligons had really put their creative hats on. Beautiful flowers, classic sports cars racing along a twisty country road created the perfect atmosphere for Penhaligons to launch their sports car scent.
after a lovely lunch where we learned about the inspiration and the history behind the new scent, we were able to tour the house and gardens of Blenheim Palace. During the tour, I was accompanied by my lovely friend, Zach Pinsent of Pinsent Tailoring. As you can see, Zach is a tailor in the very traditional sense. Using traditional old skills and period shapes, everything he does is authentic. And this is how he dresses every day, and it's absolutely beautiful. He's also quite the historian. The pressure and mechanics and engineering that's required in fountain making is mm. phenomenal. I mean, for example, at Versailles, which was, um, you know, only really completed about, you know, 40 years before, before Blenheim, um, they had a whole viaduct situation and dam building situation Amazing. in order to keep their... Um, <laughs> to keep their fountains going. Is this your normal daily attire? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah so I love it. I really love it. It's so well behaved, it's so patient.
The day ended with an interview for the Penhaligons YouTube channel, where Alexandra from Penhaligons asked me all about vintage car motoring, vintage fashion and vintage style, and what one should wear when out on a country jaunt in a beautiful vintage motor car. All against the stunning backdrop of Blenheim Palace and the gardens. Next up was a local village carnival where I was asked to give out prizes for the best float and for the best costume. I've been going to the Northwold Village Carnival for the past 13 years and my daughter was even Carnival Queen one year. enjoyed that little glimpse into my life and what I got up to this week and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you again next week. Bye!